Joan Crawford. Man, when I think about, hold on. Let me think back for a second. On a Joan Crawford. Like, subscribe, ID in the Discovery Channel. Yes, ID in the Discovery Channel. The links are provided below. Get that Discovery Go app as well as that ID Go app. You might want to get those two and combine them together and make them into one. But Joan, Joan Crawford, when I think about her, ain't that mommy dearest? Man. That woman has got to be, com let me not say that, completely, I was about to say completely vintage. I was going to say old, but let me say vintage, right? That is so way back in the day. My Mommy dearest tearing up all the house and all that sort of thing. Beating on your children and all, that is all the hook. So, so, let me see. Celebrity feuds. Celebrity feuds have been going on since the beginning of time. That's how celebrities, in fact, make money. I guess I shouldn't have outed that sort of thing. But even that's a learning process. Picking fights and all the other stuff. And yeah, they, in fact, be real and true in the detail with even that. Because even human beings like drama and the fundamentals that go with it. It helps to keep you alive. Drama. The star power in that picking and yeah picking fights with other individuals that are humans and yet they're not like-minded individuals some people in fact get off uh not sexually but over stuff like that it gives them energy uh when it comes to throwing spat and all that other stuff or having spats with one another there's survival in that that goes back to caveman days as well it goes back to tribes and all that right so celebrity feuds and Miss Davis and Miss Crawford. <laughs> I just, yeah, that is off the hook. Sometimes I wish because everything was so black and white back then, I just wish I was around during that time period. No color. Not even a stain. Not even a blood stain. Nothing else. So yeah, Miss Crawford and Miss Davis. They in fact had the fuse to die for. And the, yeah, pertaining to the impression of film and format with that, right? Remember the film, Whatever Happened to Baby Jane? Was my mom talking about that? Or did I see that? I think I seen a little bit because see my granny being at, she's in her 80s. How you stop by and the TV is on, right? I think I did see some of that. But that in fact real... Older individuals watching this will remember, uh, yeah, whatever happened to Baby Jane. Miss Davis left a gash in Miss Crawford's head, leading to a lump after Miss Davis was supposed to act out violence with purpose of abusing Miss Crawford's character. <laughs> but somehow, hold up, but somehow Miss Davis, her foot became locked to Crawford's head. That was during, yes, that film or the movie itself celebrity fuse the fighting on set leaving a gash and all the rest in the head and all that that's got to be the most interesting thing if if say i don't really like somebody and say we acting or something like that playing a role on a set and the cameras are rolling just think of all the stuff i can get away with and then try to make it seem like i was just acting or that it was an accident and yet I do it on purpose because I hate you to begin with. The feuds. Very real. Celebrity feuds. On set feuds. Do you think that was in fact planned or purpose? That gash. That gash, in fact, yeah. I know I'm kind of like pausing out with that. When I'm talking. Going slow because I didn't hardly sleep. Did I say that in my last video? I hardly sleep. So I'm kind of like dozing off while I'm sitting here. <laughs> I am. But yeah, so planned or purpose. Do you, the viewer, feel and sense and believe that celebrity feuds are planned? Do you? I want you to answer that back. I think I made a video about that before. It was one of those videos in the beginning of the year, I think it was. When I said, um, 
can't even think let me just leave that alone because it's, it's going to make me keep pausing so yeah the head trauma of crawford caused by miss davis another thing so another thing crawford got back at davis by wearing a weighted belt to pull davis out of the bed to try to injure davis yes since davis had back problems why would you want to do that sounds like love and hate thin line between love and hate and yet not completely right that's almost on the way so crawford and messy acting lines occurred on set during scenes which led to various takes which led to very bad pains back pains to be exact on the end of what actress though i forgot to throw that in as in a line i'm messing up very good today and that's that's highly imperfect uh imperfectionist thick type of way is that a word i'm making it one so Crawford and messy acting lines occurred on set during scenes which led to various takes which led to very bad back pains for Davis by ways of Crawford. The two had been known to fight over men as well. I don't know why. Let me leave certain people out but when you get to thinking about a Joan Crawford and Miss Davis, I get to thinking about certain female celebrities in today. Even even certain males. When they fall out. I can think about a Fred Durst and an Eminem. I can think about anyone in a heated weight with that. Not being dragged, no. Punches in the face and all type of stuff. Silly stuff. So Davis fell in love with, yes, an individual uh, back, when was that? Back in 1935 during filming of the film Dangerous. Crawford got a hold of him instead, which is something Davis never got over. Okay, so Miss Davis, you fall in love with somebody. And then uh, Miss Crawford, she just goes ahead and just taps down or touch down i don't mean airline no would i be bitter over something like that i'm thinking i would and i could possibly get back or something because to ruin something like that is to say well what do you have i was gonna say a mistress no that ain't even that's reaching in itself so with that davis expressing she was completely ruthless that that's what davis felt about crawford taking her love interest she felt that she was completely ruthless for doing that and davis went on to say i will never have for i will never have forgiven her and never will it's known yes that both have won best actress that's my dog I keep pausing too because I'm like, what is that? My dog, she's eating her food. I'm sorry. So yes, both of them both have best actress. They have both won Oscars for best actress. Still, Davis failed to forgive. None of that matters in her eyes. Or it didn't back then. She accused Crawford for using her looks and sex to get ahead in her career. Hell, who doesn't? What what woman, in fact, in the industry doesn't do that sort of thing? Did I just out something? Maybe I should rewind back on a twist and split with that sort of thing. Maybe I shouldn't say every woman, but there's star power in that as well, using your, your legs. Figure it out. So, Davis confessed that Crawford slept with all the male stars at MGM. She said that. Davis confessed that Crawford slept with all the male stars at MGM except for one. Crawford was known for her bisexual tendencies as well. Wow, commonality in that. Supposedly, the list of her female lovers, in fact, no, not in fact. 
Let me rewind back on even that. That's Trash Talk TV. Hello. <laughs> so, yeah. So, Crawford was known for her bisexual tendencies as well. Supposedly, the list of her female lovers included Marilyn Monroe. Marlene Dietrich. Or Dietrich. Dietrich. I was born later, so I can't really pronounce it in the noun today. I'm sorry. And Greta Garbo. And a few others. Many feel her love for Davis could be the reason the grudge, whatever that was, this bitterness and all this other stuff. Many individuals, in fact, feel her love for Davis could be why the grudge is there to begin with. What does that mean? I can't figure it out myself. I allow you, the viewer, to take the time to try to, yeah, pronounce on even that. Because that, that don't sound... That sound kind of shady. <laughs> Plus the gal in the fitted. I, I don't know what lovers or something. Is that why you fight? Because you have feelings or something for each other secretly or something? I don't know what that means. I wrote it, yes, and yet I still don't know completely what it means. Because, let me say this. There's so much more up underneath celebrities that even I am not speaking on. Their private hidden life where even you you can only go so deep and so far in the research aspect trying to figure and pull apart scientifically celebrities and how there's a closeness that stands and yet it doesn't completely even then you're saying well one was in fact a bisexual well was stated and rumored right the bisexual lovers and yet there's so much hatred by that one that was yeah just it's hard to decipher is all i'm trying to say i like to pick things apart to see which is why i write the way that i write right and yet you never could really say because even some people that uh have been known to hate each other have in fact been known to love each other you don't know people's sexuality even the others individuals that's involved so i leave that at that yeah i do in fact leave it at that so Davis and Crawford were known to compete for roles and more so for the same parts. David passed up on a lead role. That was a, sorry, a run on sentence that I just did. They were known to compete for roles, right? And at one time, Davis passed up on a lead role in Mildred Pierce. Which ended up in the hands of Crawford. She won an Oscar, which made Davis, yes, and Crawford's feud even more scandalous. Mildred Pierce? Let me let me Google right quick. I have a, a auntie much more older by the name of Mildred. Oh, wait. A, a much more older aunt you don't you really hear that name in 20 in 2018 that's not picking fun on individuals that got that name no it's just so interesting how even names evolve that is that is very interesting things the further you go things change sound change tv change visual change even some ways that people paint and color and all that changes as well as even names change changing times back then you had and it's so interesting that even back then the old time figures and the names that they were used was so fitting back then mildred pierce that being a film that that name being recognized way back in that time was fitting and yet and today it's not Today will be something more robotic and hip or something. I'm thinking that, yeah. Black folks be having some of the most wackiest names that you can't pronounce. You you, you probably, I don't know. I was going to say probably need an elevator or something to take you up move and move you all the way out the way to, in order to pronounce some of these children's names of black folks. That is so funny in itself i don't know so yeah oops did i just do that 
I completely did. My greatest apologies. So we're on investigationdiscovery.com. Yes, the logo sits up in the far left. Live now is in fact shattered. American Monster, watch now. Recommended for you. Shouts out to Paula. Each one of these, in fact, hold a description. And you're going to add it to your favorites. To scroll through is to see what lies beneath. Unlocked episodes, Evil Twin Season 6, Episode 1. To click the play button is to, yes, come in cooperation with a visual as well as sound to match it. The description stands right here. You can click the, the plus to add to watch later. Yes. Why does that keep doing that? No, why do I keep doing that? I actually clicked for a preview myself. I should have played it. I should have, shouldn't I? But that, that takes too long. Let's keep driving further. On last night, these each have, uh, yes, the padlock on it. Meaning you're going to have to sign in with your provider or present your subscriber provider in order to gain access to that, that area. It's like exclusive. All exclusive for special people only. Unlock series description stands with each one of those shows id original series id go original series same thing schedule preview support to save the children's hurricane relief efforts you can donate by clicking right here yes you can crime feed news the click within here is to in fact be directed on the outside to the crime feed Yes, news, crimefeed.com to be specific, owned and operated by Discovery. To receive a newsletter, to type in your email address and click next. And that is to be had, as Anesta, he said. I think I'm done. I need a nap. I did these videos, and in each video, I done messed up. I don't even remember if I said like, subscribe, ID in the beginning of them because I'm sleepy with that. So I think that's all to be said. Leave me a comment in the comment section. And let me know what is your best celebrity feud. As in what celebrities you like to see uh, go back and forth and pick in front with each other. Let me know your take on that. Leave it down in the comment section. Enjoy your day and I'll holla back and I'm gone.